Estás aquí conmigo el señor Roger Shah, que bueno, una vez más regresa a México para celebrar en grande el año 8 de Más Nes Café. So, Roger, I heard you went party last night here in Mexico City. How was it? Uh, first, I have to say I survived it. <laughs> I survived it. It was good. We went to a couple of local clubs and met some friends as well. Had a good time. It was really good. Okay, how do you think it's different, the party here in Mexico, than all other countries in the world? Um, for me, one difference is that I realize when I walk on the street, people recognize me. Wow. This is something, uh, I think I have the highest profile for, as an artist in Mexico City than anywhere else in the world. Okay, and did you feel special? I feel like very good. <laughs> about open-minded? How do you uh, get the selection of the drugs and the collaborations? Yeah, so the main idea about open-minded was, um, first of all, I'm a, I'm a music lover and I listen to so many different genres, from classical to rock, club music. So I thought, when I do an album for myself, why should I stick just with one genre, just do trance or whatever it's called? And that's why I made this album. And that's why I said to people, I'm open-minded. I hope you are too. That's why I have the exploration and question mark. That's why I delivered this album with two CDs, with this wide range of singers from different music genres, and, uh, and I worked on this for about two years. Okay, and how did you choose these singers? Um, actually, it was very simple for me. I, I chose some of the singers I always work with, like Chris Jones, Trina Thorpe, And then I put on a list of my all-time favorite singers, like singers I would love to work with, like uh, Carla Werner, who, who did the Southern Sun song with Paul Oakenfold, which is my all-time favorite dance record. Then I choose uh, Moya Brennan, she's the sister of Enya, and she's doing a lot of big stuff for Hollywood, and I went once to her concerts with full Cel Celtic Orchestra, which really impressed me, so I put her on the list. Then I'm a big fan of Koshin, it's a huge band in, 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 in UK, and Yeah, so I, I put the three names on the list just to see if it's somehow possible to make a collaboration happen and then they came back to me and said, yeah, we're really up to do something. You are a very successful DJ and producer, uh, almost famous. What other biggest dreams do you have already, professional dreams? Like for next steps? Um, I mean, I still love this career very much. We always do a step every year. We do some new territories. I still have so many territories I never played. And then my main dream in the future is to make music for movies. I mean, I'm a classical trained music composer. And to make dance music for me is just not... I think I don't use all my potential doing dance music. Sorry for the DJs who see this maybe, but I mean, as I said, I know how to do full orchestra stuff and I never got the chance to do it. So at the moment I have, I do like a showreel for some supervisors in Hollywood and just had some meetings in LA to get me into the scene. It will take a couple of years because it's also tough business, but I have no rush. That's why I started now and see how this goes. Yeah, I know later we'll be interviewing you about a great hit movie. Well, who knows, maybe 10 years when I'm too old for this. You have an iPod, right? Yeah. Okay. So, besides your own, what is your favorite track in your iPod? Uh, at the moment, it's a, it's a track from the new Cosmic Gate album, uh, and it's called Over the Rainbow. I will also play it tonight, it's an amazing track. But even on my iPod, if I put my iPod on shuffle mode, You listen from all the dance music, you listen to music scores, you can listen to rock bands, you can even listen to Woodstock. So I, I have all these genres on my iPod. So it's, um, yeah, so I'm very open minded when it comes to music. Yeah. Open minded, that's right. <laughs> Do you have any special message for your Latin American fans watching us right now? Yeah, I just want to say thanks for all the support. So Latin America is always um, the best territory for me whenever I play in all those countries. I always feel the love. And this is also one reason why I gave you one track in Spanish on, on the album. So just to give something back, do something really special for you. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. And I also can't wait to play tonight and come back as much as I can. 
Thank you very much. We'll have a lot of fun tonight. Y bueno, ustedes no se despeguen que continuamos con mucho más aquí en Empo. Hello, I'm Roger Jara and you are watching Empo TV.